Hey everybody, welcome to the Clean Cuisine. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Jen and today we are going to be doing a chicken tortilla soup. I might add that I am coming to you live from the East Coast, not the West Coast today. I'm visiting some family so I'm so excited to be doing this from my mom's kitchen. So what we're going to start with is I've got two sheet pans I lined with aluminum foil. You can use parchment paper as well. And I just laid down some corn tortillas. We're just going to do a little drizzle of olive oil and throw it in the oven at 450 for just a few minutes to crisp them up. Now if you want a shortcut, you can use tortilla chips. This is just kind of a homemade way and it's really quick and easy too. Um, and then we'll slice these up for our tortilla chips on top of our soup. So I'm going to throw these in and then I will just switch out the top and the bottom to make sure they get a nice crispiness. It will not take long, so I would say check them in about five minutes. Got my timer on. And then we're going to come back here. Now you'll notice I've got this crock pot on. I actually made my own shredded taco chicken, which is super easy. Make sure to check out that video that I have for shredded chicken tacos. But um, if you, again, in a pinch, and if you want to make this a little more speedy, go ahead and just get a rotisserie chicken and just pick all the meat apart, and that is a perfect chicken that you can add into your soup without having any prep time. But literally, this just takes minutes. You throw some chicken thighs into the crock pot with some few tablespoons of taco seasoning, and then you've got your shredded chicken in just a couple hours. So over here, this is the ingredients that we're going to be using. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. We have a few cloves of garlic that I am going to just take the skin off and start to slice those and chop those real quick. We also have a large can of some diced tomatoes as well as black beans. You could use pinto beans, whatever bean of your choice. I like to throw in some, sorry, baby in the background, um, some nice good citrus, whether it be lemon or lime, fresh squeeze that. And then I've got about a half to a quarter of an onion that we already happen to have chopped. So we're gonna add that in as well. So right now I've got my pot on the stove that is on a medium high heat. And right before we go to saute the garlic and the onions, I will throw in some olive oil and then we'll get that cooking. And that smells alone so good just by itself. So let's get this garlic chopped up quick. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and just give a good drizzle of olive oil in our pan over here. Probably the equivalent of about two tablespoons. And let's chop this up super fast. Uh, another good ingredient that I have that we'll be adding in is a homemade chicken stock. Um, you do not have to use a homemade chicken stock, but again, if you have a chance, check out my homemade chicken soup. It gives you a simple, easy, and a clean way to make your own chicken stock. I know a lot of times in the store you'll find that it's got so many added ingredients, not good for you. If you can't pronounce it, you don't want to put it into your body. So simple, clean way to make chicken stock. Check out my homemade chicken soup recipe on YouTube. So this is ready to go. I always add my onions in first because your garlic, you don't want it to burn. And so I usually let my onions saute for about a minute or two before I add my garlic in. So that's on our medium high heat. Give that just a second. Clear this off in the meantime. So my chicken, I've already shredded it. It's ready to go. If you're cooking in a crock pot, um, it'll shred all by itself. There's little to no um, work that needs to be done there. Our garlic is ready to go in. Let's go ahead and add that into our pan over here, our saucepan. And this here is our homemade chicken stock. I'm going to use about 10 cups worth. You can play with the amount that you want in yours if you'd like your uh, soup to be a little bit more brothy. All right, so we're over here at the stove and our garlic and our onions look great. They're just starting to brown a little bit. The house smells divine. So I'm going to go ahead and add in about 10 cups of that homemade chicken stock. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Oh, not quite. Okay. 
to that, we're going to add our large can of organic black beans. And I'm going to go ahead. I took a little bit of the um, of the liquid out, but most of the liquid I'm just going to add in with it. I think it'll add a little bit of a starchiness, thicken the soup up a little bit too, as well as our large can of diced tomatoes. Go ahead and add that in now too. And then I'm just going to add about, you know, let's go ahead and add about a half a tablespoon of sea salt and a few cranks of pepper. And then I will also add in a bag of frozen corn. A whole bag of frozen corn. You can use um, fresh corn in a can as well. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn up my heat almost to get it to boil. And then we'll reduce the temperature a little bit. We'll taste, add a few more spices, add in our chicken, and our tortillas should be done right about now. Okay, so our tortillas are ready. You'll notice they just started to brown on the outside, and as they cool, they'll get a little harder too. And then we'll go ahead and quickly just slice those up for, to top the soup with. So I'll place these over here to cool while our soup is heating up to a boil. <clears throat> and we'll slice those shortly. Okay, so our tortillas are out of the oven. They're cooled down. I've already cut them, got them ready for the soup. Our soup is pretty much at uh, a good simmer or pre-boil, which is where I want it at. So I'm just going to turn it down to about a medium heat. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my shredded chicken, which I have over here in my crock pot. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to taste the soup one last time to see if that's kind of where we want um, on the salt level, on the spice level, and any other uh, seasoning we want to add in. We'll do that at this time. And then right before that, I'm just going to hit it with about a half of a real large lime. You could also use lemon here, but I think any sort of citrus really adds a nice flavor to the soup. If you would like to omit this, I always have some chopped uh, lemons or limes as a garnish for people if they want to add in their own. So we'll just give this a stir. You can see all those delicious, lovely ingredients in there. This looks really good. It smells great. This is a perfect meal for this time of year. So without burning my mouth, it's good. For me, I actually will probably add in another half tablespoon, so it comes to about a full tablespoon of sea salt for this particular soup. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in another teaspoon of my homemade taco seasoning. And that should do it. And we are ready to serve. Okay, so these are just some of the toppings that I like to have set aside for my soup. We've got some cheese, some shredded cheese, some lemons and lime wedges, some avocado and our tortilla strips, of course. You could also do some fresh cilantro would be great. Uh, if you want to do sour cream, anything like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and top mine. A little fresh squeeze of lemon. Some cheese. I love avocado, lots of avocado and some of our fresh tortilla strips. And there you go, guys. You've got your chicken tortilla soup, another clean, healthy meal. Make sure to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you soon on The Clean Cuisine.